Hey everybody, welcome back. We are working on the 27D a little bit and I wish there was smell-o-vision because I've taken a lot of things apart in my day and I've dealt with a lot of mouse nests and mouse urine and all of that wonderful stuff. This has got to be, and I've, I've got a really strong stomach, you know, dealing with what I've dealt with at work and dealing with stuff like this but this has got to be the worst smelling urine mouse nest I've ever smelled. Um, I'll just give you a quick show. So clutch driver is real easy. It's these two bolts and then usually because it's just a straight shaft, it's not, um, it's not tapered or anything. Usually once you get it to move, wiggling, prying a little bit, it'll come right off, which is the case. So loosen these two bolts and it slides off the shaft and then the pulley itself just slides out of the first reduction housing. So, but I'll see if you can, you probably won't be able to see in there, but yeah, you can't see, but this thing is packed up to here, halfway with mouse nest and everything else. And I can smell it from, I'm two to three feet away from the tractor right now and it's bad. So I'm gonna try and get this cover off and you know, we'll see what it, <laughs> we'll see what it has inside and what the gears look like in there. But I'm not, I'm not getting my hopes up. So we might have to use the gears out of the 28 for this portion, you know, the reduction gear and everything. If this thing is so corroded to the point where the teeth are pitted and everything else, but luckily that everything on the 28 is probably good. So let's, uh, let's start getting this apart. It's just a series of bolts all the way around the cover. So start getting it apart and we'll go from there. Okay, well, let's see what we got in here. Oh, I still got a bolt in it. <laughs> yeah, this thing is, it smells bad. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's not great. Yeah, that's uh, not great. Oh, I'm sorry. Pick him up. It's okay. <laughs> Well, she dropped her bag of marshmallows, so she's not happy now. We're live, folks. <laughs> this is a uh, this is real life. <laughs> okay, well, this is terrible smelling. Poofta. I'm going to take these gloves off and pick up her marshmallows and get the dad mode back on track here.
Okay guys, it's a little while later, got that cover off. I've put the puller on the first reduction gear, but I can't get that thing to move. I think I need a bigger puller. I tried heating up the hub of the gear. It won't slide at all, so I gave up on this for now. And the other side, as you can see, does not have a flywheel on it. So the 27s and earlier have a keyed crank. This is the key that goes into the keyway on the crank and holds the flywheel in place. The end of it is threaded with a half 13 hole. And what I did to pull this key was, I obviously cleaned it out with a tap and then I threaded a half inch bolt in with a nut and a washer and put a socket over it, put the nut bolt and washer through the socket and into the key and I just used that as a puller and that pulled the key right out. From there, what we have to do is loosen the bolts on the back of the flywheel. This one I was able to get loose, but it stopped up on me. So I'm guessing that the threads on this are probably, well, junk <laughs> for lack of a better term, but I've got that done. This is off, but you loosen the bolts drive a couple wedges in here and then slowly walk the flywheel off. That's all there is to it. It is heavy. I would guess it's probably, oh, I don't know, 150 pounds at least, maybe 200 pounds. So have help, use an engine hoist or wait for help. <laughs> but that's as far as we're going to go on this. And we actually did get the the crankshaft to turn about probably half a turn, maybe a quarter turn. So that's a positive, uh, positive message, but that's about as far as we're going to get on this thing right now. I'm going to head over to the GP and start working on that with Tony and get that transmission shaft switched out. So it's going to do it. Thanks for watching, thanks for wrenching with us, and stay tuned for the next one because we're headed straight over there to work on Tony's, so.